Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here from Guy Bear Games, back with another tutorial. Today we are doing the much requested Silent Droid GTA character. So we have done a lot of the other group already. If you haven't already checked that out, I guess there will be a playlist on my channel with all the Thanos and Friends GTA character tutorials. The only ones left to do at the moment are Terrorizer and um, Terrorizer, and basically I do work. So yeah, stay tuned for them if you well if you aren't already I guess subscribe and hopefully you like this video it was not difficult to make but it was not the easiest thing I mean after all we do have to design these from pictures of their GTA characters rival on Minecraft skins which is what we're normally used to so hopefully you enjoy this my voice is kinda croaky in this intro but throughout the video it's kinda fine so yeah hopefully you enjoy it if you do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and this was designed by I believe me and Predator34619. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you str in the tutorial, I guess. Yeah, see you there. Okay, so let's get straight on with the tutorial. So the materials you will need to build Silent Droid is black wool, white wool, mushroom block. Again, you get that from silk touching a large mushroom, which is basically a mushroom planted on mycelium bone mill. Then you silk touch it in survival mode, and you'll get mushroom. Pink wool, lime wool, brown wool, oak wood planks, and spruce wood. So, as always, we start off by building an eight long line to signify, I guess, the bottom of the statue. This time we are doing it out of black, should I mention. The next row is three black, two white, three black, and then the next row is eight white. Now he has like these weird like flip flop kind of like sandal things which is kind of hard to build in the form of a skin but we tried to represent it in a way um, and I think it looks alright so hopefully you agree. Next we do an 8 long line of black wool. Then we do 2 rows of 8 white wool. Like so. On top of that, we do three rows of eight mushroom. So that's second row. And then third row. Like that. Then we do a row of pink. It's very simple. It's just solid rows at the moment rather than like mixed up colors. Except from that, I guess. Then we do two rows of eight white wool. Like this. And then... That is where we're going to leave it for now because that is where the legs stop. So this is what the legs should look like so far. If you need to, pause here because it's like the ideal opportunity. So a little talk about what it is. That's his uh, like sandals, I guess you could say. They're his socks, his like legs or his ankles, like the part, I forgot what it's called. That like part of your leg between your kneecap and your uh, ankle. And then his shorts this with the pimp pink rim I guess and then the main shorts being white or a whitish colour um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the body and the arms so first of all we're going to do the body so on the left side we're going to build the pink up 11 6 7 8 9 10 11 and on top of that we're going to place one white wall now that white wall signifies the top of the uh, body because the main body is 12 tall so what we're going to do is we're going to build it across to the right, tw uh, I was about to say twice, twice um, then down one and to the side one. Now this is making his neck pretty much, so then we can build it solid pink wall. We're then going to go down diagonal and down one. Then from here we're going to go up diagonal like so. And then we're going to go up diagonal again and to the side one. So it should look like this. Bear in mind that gap again is 11. Then what we're going to do is we're going to count two down using pink wool. Place one green block and go to the left one using a green block. And then fill the rest of the gap in between here using pink wool. In this gap here, this four block gap is just mushroom blocks. And then the rest of this area is of course pink wool. Nice and simple. But it will require a lot of pink wool if you are intending to do this in survival, which hopefully you're not, because it's not a great idea, if I'm honest. Okay, so once we finish filling this in, I will give you guys an opportunity to um, 
I guess, catch up if you need to, because I know that sometimes I don't really give you guys an opportunity, and I know that is one fault that I need to work on, but hopefully it's kind of fulfills that, I guess, is the words I'm looking for. And today my voice isn't as croaky. It's still croaky. I mean, I've still got like a really chesty, like, smoker's cough, even though I don't smoke. Um, but I've still got a ridiculously chesty cough. Uh, like a wheezy cough, I guess, almost. But hopefully it doesn't sound too bad in the video. I know the other two videos it did, but hopefully it doesn't sound too shabby. That's a word I don't think I've ever used before in this video. So anyway, from the top, we're going to count four out using pink wool. And we're going to do that on the left side and the right side, so for both arms. We're then going to count four down, and on the fourth block, so there should be a free gap. And then, so basically on this one, it'll be down diagonal from the green. You do the exact same, extend it out by four, and then fill in the gap. We go across, easy tip going across, just literally go across. And do the exact same until you have got a five by four pink square like so. Now what we're going to do is go up diagonal from this white and extend it out four using mushroom blocks. The exact same on the other side. And then we're going to fill this gap in here using mushroom blocks. It should be six rows that you've got to add on and it's seven in total. Just in case you like numbers rather than visuals. But I will give visuals as well because I know a lot of people prefer visuals. Let's try and keep everyone happy. Okay. So once we've completed this, this is the front of the body complete, and it is not exactly one, oh, not exactly one of the hardest ones to do. So hopefully you are all good so far. Again, this is what it should look like. So if it doesn't, I would spend some time re-looking over what I've just done to see where it's gone wrong, and hopefully finding the reasonings why and how to fix that. So anyway, we're going to do the right side first. So what we're going to do is extend it backwards free, like so place one block of white above the second row and then one black and then on the third row one black like so so it should have the two white going down diagonal like that and all we're going to do is we're going to find this top white here extend it out free and then link it up and fill it in this whole area like that so that represents like the side of the sandals and then his socks Then of course we're going to do the three by three of mushroom blocks three pink and then six white however what we do do is punch them two out of the six and place two pink wool so it would probably have been easier if I just said place one white and three white but I didn't so just do that it is four pink one white two pink one white and then four white so it should look like this and the other side is the exact same so you extend it out by three using black place one white, the black up diagonals like that, extend the white and fill it in until it should look like that. Then we got the three by three of mushroom blocks, the row of pink, the white, whoops, the two pink, and then the white. So that is what the left side looks like as well, it's the exact same as the right. And again, if you didn't quite catch the right, this is what it looks like. And the sun is on our side for once, so we can actually move on to doing the arms. So for the arms, we just extend it out backwards free using mushroom blocks. So the whole row, so a three by three, we add on to the, or a three by four, should I say, we add on to the back. And then for the sides, we just extend the mushroom blocks up six, like so. And then five rows of pink wool for the three, I guess or three rows should I say so again a six by um, three here seven including the bottom part and then a five by three here okay so that is the side complete as I said this whole mushroom block here is a seven by four and then this pink part is a five by four just to clear up any confusion whatsoever so I guess we can quickly do the back, seeing as the sun isn't quite going down yet, which is unusual because it normally is by now. It's normally pitch black by the time I finish the arms. So that just suggests that 
Silent Droid is not the highest statues, and as you can see, I'm kind of stuck because the world border's right here, which kind of sucks, which is why we're doing it sideways rather than in, like, I guess, shape with how the others are in a row. But anyway, we're going to link this up by doing a six long line of black wall, like so. We're then going to do five rows of white. So just link it up basically, like so. We then do three rows of mushroom block, again like that, one row of pink, two rows of white, and then the rest is just pink, so 12 rows of pink. Now you'll know when you've hit 12 when you come in line with the top of the front, that is always a good way to work out whereabouts you are. So if it's in line with the top of the front, you are, or oh, you have done 12 and you are doing fine. Then you just build it all the way up so it matches, so it's a 12 by 8 area of pink wall. And you, again, you just fill it in, you're going to need a lot of pink wall for this and a lot of mushroom blocks. So, as I said, recommend you do it in creative, not survival. Okay, we're going to quickly add the mushroom blocks. So you do six rows of mushroom blocks, like that, and then the five rows of pink wool. Whoops. And then we will sleep because it's getting dark. So for the arms, it is just literally like the front, the side, the back are all in line. Like they all are the same pretty much. So it's literally just seven uh, mushroom block and then five pink. And then for the top and the shoulders, just use pink wool, solid pink wool. And again, for the other arm, the exact same. So six mushroom blocks up, so seven in total, and then five pink blocks. There we go. Now for this shoulder, just fill it in with solid pink wool and that is the body complete. So let me just have a quick call. Sorry about that. Um, I felt it coming, that's why I was kind of, I guess, not wheezing a bit, but like talking maybe a tiny bit weird. So yeah, and I just threw my pink wool away. That's not what we want to do. Okay, so this is what it should look like so far. I'm going to give you a front, side and back view quickly. So that is the front, the side, hopefully we'll be able to view the back, yeah kind of. So the back of the legs, the back of the body, and the left side. Okay, so now all we got to do is the head which isn't too difficult, again like the body it's nothing too, I guess, detailed, there's not a lot of colouring in it compared to things like Louis Calibre and uh, other statues that I've done in the past. So what we're going to do is find this white block here and go up diagonal. And we're going to do the exact same on the other side and we're going to link them like so using mushroom blocks. We're then going to do another row outwards so it should overhang the front two blocks like that. It should be a 2 by 8 area. And what we're going to do above the second row we're going to place two mushroom blocks, one brown two oakwood planks, one brown, and then two mushroom. The next row we place three mushroom, two brown, three mushroom. The next row is eight mushroom. The next row is one mushroom, one white, one spruce wood, log upwards, not sideways, upwards. Two mushroom blocks, another spruce wood upwards, one white wall, one mushroom block, next row, one brown wall, six mushroom blocks, one brown wall, next two rows, eight brown wall, like so. And that is the front of the face, so of course the front of statues faces, and should I say faces and heads in general on Minecraft are eight by eight by eight, so make sure that it is eight by eight, and if it is then you are doing fine. So now we're going to move on to the sides, so hopefully you got that fine. If you didn't, I would definitely go back and look at what went wrong and how to fix it, I guess. If you are doing fine, then let's move on. So where this brown is, we're going to go down diagonal like that. And we're going to go down diagonal yet again. We're going to go to the side one. Then we're going to go up diagonal one. 
down diagonal one like that and then down diagonal again and down one we're then going to go to the side one like that and then underneath this we're going to place one mushroom so it should look like this so far now I know that looks extremely weird but it all makes sense in a second so we're going to extend this by five using mushroom blocks and link it back to the front so it should overhang the front two and overhang the back two now now in this gap here underneath the brown line we're going to fill it in with mushroom blocks or skin blocks should I say because this is a great block for skin texture seeing as it's like a tannish color or a peachy color until white stained clay comes to xbox it is probably the best option now people may say why don't I do this on PC well first of all my PC is crappy second of all if I do a tutorial using PC blocks I'm really reducing the amount of people that can build it whereas if I build it so that PC, Xbox, Vita, next gen when that comes out everyone can build it it is really making it so that everyone can build it I guess it makes it more purposeful so anyway above this what we're going to do is extend the top out by 7 and like that and extend this up by 5 I believe it is and then this whole gap here is just brown wool now if you can hear the whirring in the background that is my computer fans so I apologize for that as I said my laptop or stress is a laptop um, I was about to say it's not a computer but a laptop quite clearly is a computer it's just a very crappy computer um, but it does the job I guess it means I can record and it means I can get videos out there but I am in the process of saving up for a desktop that's all I'm saying so let's not ramble let's do the other side so for the other side it's the exact same so we go down diagonal from the brown down diagonal again and to the side we then go up diagonal then down diagonal down diagonal and down and then to the side then mushroom block underneath five mushroom blocks to the right on this time fill this gap in with mushroom and then we extend this top part out seven to the left this one up I believe it is five yeah five and then fill in the gap using brown wool okay so we're coming very near to the end now so that is what the left side of the face looks like that's what the front of the face looks like and that's what the right side of the face looks like or not face head should I say face is more deemed for just the front so um for the back we're going to link them together using mushroom blocks both rows and then for the second to eighth layer is just solid brown wool so the first layer is mushroom blocks for the back and then second se uh, second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth layer are all brown wool like so and then for the top of the statue is also just simply brown wool and that I guess brings us to the end of the statue tutorial so hopefully you got the final result that is intended and I'll show you that final result in a second let me just get my get rid of my hand as weird as that sounds and give you one last fly around to show you what it should look like if you've got lost somewhere or if you've gone off track somewhere or you just want to generally see what it looks like so that's the front of it there's the front of the body there's the front of the whole statue I'll go around the statue I guess rather than just the body and the things you've already seen the body so there's the side of the body anyways there's the side of the head there is the back there's the back of the head there is the side of the other side of the body the left side and the left side of the head and then the top of the head and then the face so yeah that's about it I guess the silent droid GTA character tutorial complete again this was one of the last people in the collection that I'm probably going to do. Um, I'll most likely be doing basically I do work, but then that will probably be it. I'll be finishing off the crew craft and then getting into doing some more custom skins. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you in a future video. Until then, I've been Tom. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Train my mind so I forget Sink your teeth into my bones Dig me out then fill the hole Tear me apart Tear me apart and watch it burn Tear me apart Tear me apart and watch it burn All that's left is a window to my soul Come
and get it. 